Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to show you how to make another mechanism. Have you ever wondered how you could use cardboard to move a suite? Well, we're going to show you how to do that today. So, here's what we're going to make. This is a simple uh, pulley mechanism and we're going to use this to lift and move a suite. So if I just attach that suite there to show you, this is the base. If I hold on to the base and if I turn this skewer here, you will see the mechanism lifts the suite. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these. So here goes. So first you need some corrugated cardboard, you need some skewers and you need some string. Okay, the sweets are optional because you can design something to lift anything around your house. So, first things first, you need to measure and make a base for your mechanism. So, this shape here I've used is a rectangle. You can explore and experiment with different shapes. So, the bottom to be made first. So, the equipment that you need is pencil, ruler, set square, craft knife, safety ruler and a cutting mat if you have them. So to make your base you choose what size you want the base to be. I'm going to make mine 15 centimeters which is also 150 millimeters so I've measured and made a mark there. I'm going to use a set square to create a line that's straight and 90 degrees. So I'm using this to create a shape that's straight and 90 degrees. Now I'm going to measure that to see how long that is and I'm going to make mine 25. It doesn't really matter the size of the base. You'll see the purpose of the base later. So here we go, so there's the base. So once you've got the base, cut that out using either your scissors or your safety, um, your craft knife and your safety ruler. You must use a safety ruler when using a craft knife and you must only expose a small part of the blade, not too much because that's dangerous. Small part, lock it, make sure you know what part of the blade is sharp, use your safety ruler to cut through the cardboard once, twice, three times should do it. Okay, and then you've got a nice cut, same again, and once you've done that, unlock, retract and lock your craft knife so it's safe. So there's the base of your crane. Now we're going to make this part, the frame. So as you can see, in between the frame there are two pieces of wooden skewers, okay. This is your pulley system. So this skewer is pulling the string upwards okay so where these are located is entirely up to you to decide so we're going to make the frame and this frame needs to be strong so you can see I've used really strong shape there so I've used a triangle so using your leftover card you can measure or you can do a bit of guesswork and create a triangle shape. Use your craft knife to cut the triangle shape. Remembering to lock the blade once, twice, three times. And lock that, there we go. And then that will be one side to get an identical shape on the other side I'm going to use the leftover car but I'm going to trace around this. Now you need to make sure you try and reduce as much material as possible so I'm going to use that shape there and place it up against the edge. So actually all I've got now is one line to cut. So can you see, there we go, just one line. Okay, so cut that. Now, the next thing is 
to have a look at how that looks. So there's one side, there's the other. Okay, now, if I was lifting something from here and lifting it up, it might get caught on my frame. So as you can see, what I've done here is the triangle is at a slight angle, so it's hanging over the edge slightly. Okay, so the way I did that is I took the two triangles, put them together. Let's just make sure I've got this right. There we go. Okay, try again. There we go. And created a line to make them sit at an angle. So all I'm doing, and I can show you here, I'm just going to chop off, so I want it to sit, so it's slight, got a slight overhang. So if I put a mark there, and use my ruler to draw a line, I can then cut that out with a safety ruler, and a craft knife, making sure the two shapes sit nice and snug together. There we go. And lock that. So now you've got a frame that should sit with a slight overhang. So now you can stick that onto your base using a craft uh, uh, a glue gun. Just trim that slightly. So as you can see here, I've given the two sides. I've I've stuck them at an angle. That's to improve the stability of that frame. So actually what we're creating here is a structure, so that needs to sit like that. But before I place it down, I need to place the two pieces of skewer in place. So, get the skewer out of the packet. We're going to use the very sharp end, which you need to be really careful with. And we are going to make a hole at the top and in the middle. But before you make a hole, you must not do this. You need to get some scrap card, place it on your cutting mat or on your table, place the two shapes together, and then you need to make a hole at the top for both shapes, like so. And you need to make a hole roughly in the middle. But, I would like you to experiment with this, so maybe you make the holes in different places. Once you've done that, you need to cut two pieces of skewer. Now the skewer for the bottom hole needs to be longer than the one at the top because we want it to sit at an angle. So, using your scissors, measure how long you want your bottom skewer, create a small dent small indentation, use your thumb and your other thumb and snap away from your eyes. Then you need a skewer in the top, but be careful of your hand, and that needs to be shorter. So I'm going to make that one shorter. Okay. Now, if you make a mistake when you're doing this, that's okay. That's what we do as engineers. So, where there's a small dent there, remember, snap, be very careful of that sharp end there. And then, we're going to pull these apart. And we're going to put them at an angle. And then, using your glue gun, we are going to glue the bottom, but being very careful not to get any glue on our hands. So a small blob in the end, middle, the other end. Same the other side. Now you need to be really quick because this is low melt glue gun, so it will cool down quite quickly. So 
place that down on the base and press it firmly and there you have it, there's your frame. So you have a frame, a skewer at the bottom, a skewer at the top. Now the skewer at the top we don't want to move so we're just going to put a blob of glue here and a blob of glue the other side and we're just going to wait a few minutes for it to dry. There you have it. So, next thing is to take a small piece of string. So the string needs to attach onto the bottom skewer and it needs to be long enough to lift whatever object you want it to lift. So the end of the string needs to go onto the bottom skewer and it's important here, and this is where the science comes into it, that that piece of string, the knot, is tight. If it's loose, if I just cut this and show you, when we turn that handle, it will not grab hold of that string and pull it. So it needs to be tight so there's enough friction so that that skewer can grab the string so it can lift. There you go. So if you attach, let's attach a pencil to it on this occasion, you can design a crane to lift and move objects in and around your home. So there we go. You can see. Now, if that was heavier, that would pull that back down. So could you design something here to stop it from falling back down? Have a little think. Oop, just pull that off. Now, the other thing you can do is you can create an additional base with a skewer on it which I've literally just cut and glued at the bottom there. You can add another hole at the bottom of your crane so that you can then gently do that. You can then design something to not only lift it Let's use the sweet. There we go. So it not only lifts it, oh, drop that one. There it goes. There we go, so it's designed to lift all the way up and then you can twist it around. So the base at the bottom would need to be bigger but it allows you to twist and rotate your object. So I wonder if you could make a crane to lift and move objects around your house. Have a go, all you need is some corrugated card some kebab skewers and some string and a little bit of imagination. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please like and subscribe to our page and share your creations. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.